on, we're going to be late. Bobby, do you mind telling me why we're going down to Victoria bus station at 10 o'clock in the morning when we should be rehearsing? If you must know, Tom, I'm going to pick a woman up. <laughs> well, at 10 o'clock in the morning? Yeah. What's wrong with that? Hey, <laughs> not just any woman, a special woman. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And she's going to spend the night in the flat. <laughs> you and this woman? In our flat? You don't mind, do you? I know you're a chap. All right, she's big, she's busty, 21, and she's from Penthouse, right? Well, she isn't, Tom, if you must know. No. She's small, mm -hmm. 61, Yeah. and she comes from Rochdale. Oh, <laughs> from Rochdale, oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me your auntie Rilla's about to descend on us. Only for tonight. She's on her way to Bright to see me because of Myra. Bobby, not your auntie Lily. Forget it from me. Right. I'm off out, me. I'm going to a squash player's ball. <laughs> well, that's painful. <laughs> you can't, Tom. You can't. Why? You've got to help me entertain me Auntie Lily. Come on. Oh, Bobby, not your Auntie Lily. Come on! <laughs> I don't see why I should entertain her, Bobby. After all, she's your Auntie Lily. Come on, Tommy. I need your moral support. She's a very hard lady to entertain. Oh, I yeah, know that. <laughs> Bossy. Eh? Always fussing. She's never satisfied, is she? And boy, can't she murder a meal? I know. <laughs> Milk club uses that pygmies used to come over from Africa to dip the poison darts in her gravy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a real saint. I know that. It's a very uh, hard burden to carry sometimes, Tommy. Mm. She thinks you're almost perfect. I am in certain places. <laughs> the sun shines out of your backside. <laughs> I won't go as far as to say that. Well, let me tell you something, right? I, for one, I'm not looking forward to this next 24 hours. Come on, Tom, you'll enjoy it! <laughs> Your Auntie Lily, eh? What a woman. Always fussing, always complaining, and what a terrible cook she is. Oh, she'll be cooking us one of them terrible meals again, won't she? Cottage pie. It's always cottage pie. <laughs> Shut up, Tom. You're fetching me bile up. <laughs> Remember that last meal she cooked us cottage pie? Eh? You took one mouthful, didn't you? Slipped the rest under the table to the dog. Yeah. Do you remember that? I miss old Rover, do you? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I, for one, I'm not looking forward to this visit. Why? Why? Well, the main reason being is that uh, your Auntie Lily still treats you like a little boy. Does she? Of course. She does. She's still sending you two bars of soap once a month, isn't she? <laughs> She's never saying to you, stand up straight, when well, you're already standing up straight. <laughs> well, you can understand it, really, can't you? I mean, she fetched me up when I was a little boy, because my mother had to go to work. I mean, that's why she mothers me. Smothers you more like. You've got to make your Auntie Lily understand you're a man. Worldly wise, grown up, mature. Yeah, I am, Tom. I'm worldly wise, grown up, mature, you're right. <laughs> Robert? <laughs> oh, hello, Auntie Lily. You've arrived then? Well, of course I've arrived, otherwise I wouldn't be here, would I? <laughs> now come and give us a kiss. And stop sucking your thumb. <laughs> Hello, Auntie Lily. Hello, Thomas. You look younger and prettier than ever, don't she, Bobby? Yes, you do, Auntie Lily. You look really younger and a lot prettier. Yeah. <laughs> but it takes me a lot longer now. <laughs> How's my Uncle Albert? Did he have a quiet Christmas then, Auntie Lily? Yes, he did. His hearing aid broke down. <laughs> <laughs> well, are we going to stand here all morning or can we go to your digs now? Yeah, of course we can. Come on, cars in the car park. Follow me, Auntie Lily. Oh, thanks. I'll carry your case then. Right, Rob. And don't try to stand up straight. <laughs> <laughs> this, Auntie Lily. <laughs> Is that bad to everybody? Auntie Lily, look, you've got to realise I'm not a little boy anymore. 
I'm worldly wise, mature, I'm a grown up human being. I'm grown up now, aren't you, Lily? Blimey. Can I have you got a bean over there, please? <laughs> So this is how you live in London, is it? Yeah, it's a gorgeous flat, isn't it, Auntie Lily? Well, that window could do with a good clean. <laughs> you wouldn't know me, love, but do you fancy a fish paste sandwich? Oh, no, thank you, Thomas. I can't stomach seafood. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot in here. I think it's that something to do with the heat. <laughs> Not the radiators, you see, Auntie Lily. <laughs> Listen, Auntie Lily, do you fancy a nice drink from our bar? A bar in a flat, Thomas? Mm. Oh, it hardly seems respectable. Mm. Well, it saves you going to a pub getting drunk, don't it? <laughs> it's not far to walk. <laughs> <laughs> See, Tommy likes a drink, I don't bother. Sure. Auntie, Lily. <laughs> Auntie Lily, what about this view then from this window? See, most of London from here, you know. Right down into the backyard of Buckingham Palace. Right, Bob? Oh, yeah. Auntie Lily, on a clear day, you can see her majesty chopping firewood. <laughs> Fancy. <laughs> well, aren't you going to ask me to sit down, Al Robert? You know I've got veins. Of course, Auntie Lily. Sorry. You can lie down if you want. Hey, we've got a beautiful guest bedroom for you. Very posh, just like a motel. Oh, lovely. I'll have a nice long nap this afternoon. Yeah, no, no, be nice. Enjoy that. Nice. 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 <laughs> and when I get up, I'll make you both your favourite meal. Cottage, Cottage pie. pie. I know how you love my cottage pie. Yes, I'm doing it. Oh, it was good of you both to give up your bedroom for me. I couldn't sleep in that tiny guest room. I get hydrophobia. <laughs> Think nothing of it, Auntie Lily. It's going to be fun sleeping together in a single bed, isn't it, Tom? <laughs> Just like being at the YMCA. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking that. Is it cold in here? Is it me? Hey, have you turned the heating down, Auntie Lily? No. I haven't turned it down. I've turned it off. <laughs> but what? All together? Yes, I have. That central heating can kill you. <laughs> it constricts the lungs. <laughs> <laughs> oh! You've not touched that food. It's getting cold. Yeah, well, Auntie Lily, I thought I'd have a fight first. <laughs> well, have none of that while I'm here. <laughs> Auntie Lily, that's my last packet. I've told you before about smoking, Al Robert. You'll stunt your growth. <laughs> you don't realise, Auntie Lily, he has a cigarette before every meal. Snitch your shit. <laughs> yes, I know. And he eats 20 meals a day. <laughs> now, stop this chattering and get that food down there. Yes, yes Auntie, Auntie Lily. Go on, enjoy it. Right, right Auntie, Auntie Lily. Lily. You'll not leave this table till you've eaten every bit. Yes, yes Auntie, Auntie Lily. Lily. <laughs> All gone. Right, Auntie Lily. <laughs> and when you finish that, I've got a delicious pudding for you. Your favourite. Excuse me. Prune surprise. <laughs>
particularly. I thought you might be. Um, is there anything we can do for you then, Auntie Lily? No. I just came in to tell Robert his story, that's all. Story? A bedtime story? Auntie Lily, no. I'm worldly wise and mature now. He could never go to sleep without a story. Oh, yes. <laughs> what story is this, then? Tommy, I don't need a bedtime story. You said so yourself. Auntie Lily, you don't understand. I'm 40-ish now. I'm a grown-up human being. I don't want a bedtime story. The story of Freddy the Frog. <laughs> I'm past this, I'm past this. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a frog called Freddy. Uncle Lou, this is very embarrassing for me. <laughs> and he lived by the lily pond with all his little friends. Uncle Lou, I'm not listening. I'm not, I'm not listening. <laughs> there was Trevor the Toad, Morris the Mole, Willie the Worm, and Derek the Skunk. One day, they were all you playing hide and seek, but... What did you say? You've missed one out. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Mickey the Maggot. <laughs> yeah. Mickey the Maggot? <laughs> Yeah, I love that little maggot. He's my favourite, that maggot. How can you love a maggot? For goodness sake. They're all slimy and wiggly, aren't they? They live in apples. Nicky wasn't slimy. Huh? <laughs> he didn't live in apple, he lived in a potato. <laughs> he <was> Irish. <laughs> he had these beautiful brown eyes. Did you, Auntie Lily? Yes, he did. A maggot with big brown eyes. Mm. That's silly, that. It's silly to you, Tommy. It's not silly to me. It's very symbolic to me. Anyway, I'm listening now, Auntie Lily. Go on, get the exciting part. Well, one day, Mickey the Maggot was playing in the rockery. Yeah. When suddenly, he turned to his wife, Frida, <laughs> and he said... <laughs> his wife? His wife? Yes. <laughs> what are you talking about? They don't get married, maggots. <laughs> For sake, they were probably living together. <laughs> Shut your mouth! Don't you talk dirty fuck of my Auntie Lily! They <laughs> was not living together, they was definitely married. I'm sorry about that, Auntie oh, it's Lily. That's all right. Blimey. All right, then. All right. Did they have any little maggots? No, they didn't, uh. because the marriage were never consumed. Mm. <laughs> so spoiling my child illusions, you, Tommy. I'm sorry, Auntie Lily. Go on, go on. Well, I, I've lost the thread now. <laughs> Suddenly. At the bottom of the garden, they heard a strange noise. Oh, oh yes. Suddenly, at the bottom of the garden, they heard a strange noise. Tramp, tramp, tramp. <laughs> tramp, tramp, tramp. Do you know who it was? Yes, yeah, six tramps. <laughs> Six tramps. Oh. It was Mr. Grimes, the gardener, coming down the garden path with a flick gun full of insect repellent. <laughs> I hate the next bit. <laughs> squish, squish. <laughs> squish, squish. <laughs> That's how he went with his flick gun. All over Freddy the Frog and his little friend. So, they all ran away down the garden. Lickety-split, lickety-split. <laughs> they all ran away and lived happily ever after. All except one. <laughs> what are you, sir? All except one. Which one? talk about <laughs> which one was it picking the bucket yes yes it was <laughs>
Mm. I know it was. Yeah. <laughs> it was Mickey the Maggot. He couldn't bring himself to leave his comfortable little home in that King Edward potato. <laughs> and the poor little chap perished to death. He perished to death? Yes. He committed insecticide. <laughs> It's real. It's real. Stupid. Rubbish. <laughs> Child rubbish, that's what it is. Ooh, I smashed it. <laughs> crying, crying, that's like a baby. Do you know something? You've got no romance in your body, you. No romance. Oh, no. Them little animals, they love one another. Oh, yeah? Yes, they did. What about Freddy the Frog? What about him? He didn't say so much, did he, when his best pal got covered in poisonous fumes? <laughs> he couldn't say nothing. Something wrong with his larynx. <laughs> well, what was that? He had a man in his throat. <laughs> oh, knickers to you. Yes. <laughs> oh, 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 Maggots to you, maggots to you. Oh, yeah? Yes. Oh, yeah? Yes. Hey, worldly wise, grown up, mature. Yes. Eh? Blimey, you see that? Yeah. That's what he should have <laughs> He's picking on me! Oh, pick on you. Morning. <laughs> I said morning. I said morning. <laughs> yes, I did. I said it softly when you came in. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I went like that. <laughs> oh, I never heard you. Well, I heard me. I'm nearer to me than you. <laughs> All right. Well, you're on till early now, then. You're going for a walk in Hyde Park. She shouldn't do that. She might meet a big mugger. That's his problem, isn't it? Not <laughs> Impossible, you know that, don't you? Impossible living with your Auntie Lily. Tommy, stop going on about it. Oh. Always interfering, criticising. She thinks she owns this place. Tommy, she can't help nagging. It's in her nature. Oh. Nagging. She certainly nags you and bullies you. Something shameful. I admit, all right, I admit, it's been a tough 24 hours. It's been very tough. Yeah, well, never mind. She'll be gone by this afternoon. Yeah. No, I won't. I'll be gone in five minutes. Oh. <coughs> Auntie Lily. Now look what you've done. <laughs> Auntie Lily, listen. We knew, me and Tommy knew you were there all the time. We were just kidding you. Of course we <coughs> knew. We wouldn't do anything to hurt you, Auntie Lily. Would we, Bobby? No, we wouldn't. Not me and Tom, well, especially me. <laughs> You're the salt of the earth to him. All I've ever done for our Robert has been out of love and affection. I know that, Auntie. I know I overdo it sometimes, I can't help fussing. It's... It's just that he's... It's, it's very special to me, that's all. Well, you're special to him, Auntie Lily. He loves you, Auntie Lily, don't you? I idolise you, Auntie. Do you, Bobby? Let me tell you something, Auntie. You're my Auntie Lily. 
and I wouldn't hurt you for the world. I love you. And that's the honest truth. I really love you. Give us a cuddle, then. <laughs> that's it. Right, let's have some breakfast now. And shall I put the kettle on? Right, Robert. And do try to stand up straight. <laughs> uh, what are you going to cook us for breakfast, Auntie Lily? Egg, bacon and beans? No. I thought I'd warm up some of that delicious cottage pie. <laughs> hey, well, this is nice, isn't it? It's better than nice, Tom. It's nicer. <laughs> well, Auntie Lily should be, uh, well on her way now to Brighton. Yeah. After the day we've had. I'm looking forward to this sleep, boy. I'm absolutely pooped. I'm looking for a real good sleep now. I can't sleep, Tommy. What? Not without asserting something. <laughs> Bobby. Go on, Tommy. It won't take you a couple of seconds, that's all. <laughs> you promised me. Bobby, look, leave it out right. Just go to sleep. Go on, Tom. Please, Tommy. You promised me you would. Please. Bobby, I'm going to feel silly. You won't, Tom. You're grown up and mature. Go on, please, Tom. Do it, Bonnie. I won't be able to sleep without it. All right. <laughs>